is up guys, Epic Pokemon TCG here and today guys I have a deck profile for y'all and this deck's gonna be covering Giratina Vileplume. So we're gonna take a look at Giratina first here. So Giratina has the ability of Renegade Pulse, prevent all effects of attacks including damage done to this Pokemon by Mega Evolution Pokemon. So this is gonna stop a lot of really popular Mega Pokemon like Rayquaza, Mega Manetric and such. And then it has a really good attack to go along with it. Chaos Will does 100 damage and then your opponent can't play any tool, special energy or stadium cards during their next turn. So you're shutting down a lot of cards here, and then when you play this with Vileplume, which shuts down trainers and stuff with its Irritating Pollen, which is a perfect ability name for it, I might add. Uh, pretty much you're going to be shutting down a lot of stuff and making them really unable to do a lot of things. And we're actually going to play a 3-3 line here of Vileplume. So, this is a really good way. I feel like a 4-4-4 line is just way too clunky. And really all you need to do is just get one out, and then you have ways to end this deck to get them out really quickly again. So that's really good. Yeah. Uh, Giratina actually has a really hefty retreat cost. It has a three retreat cost. So to try to lower that down, make it a little easier, we're actually going to play Hydreigon here. And its ability is Dragon Road. And pretty much uh, just makes all their retreat costs two less. Also, the Shred ability can get past Regice too if you do go against that. So that would be a really good way to counter Regice. And then for some consistency reasons, we're going to play two Shaman EX here just for the setup abilities. It's going to help you get into your deck a lot faster, get some stuff to your hand. And for a big attacker, you're going to play a Lugia. EX. I like Lugia in here because you play DCEs anyway, so just be a quick little Pokemon to attach energy to and start attacking. Uh, if you would like to, you can go for the Mill Tank route. Either way you want to do it, it doesn't matter. Um, you can throw it in two Mill Tank. That's it for the Pokemon. So starting off here with the supporters, we have four Sycamore, pretty standard. Uh, three AZ. Uh, three AZ is going to be really good here because it'll allow you to pick up your Valpoon line, get yourself out of Trainer Lock, probably play some trainers out, get yourself reset up, and you know get to the attack. And again, so 3 AZ is really good. Uh, I also played 3 Shauna, uh, just for some more draw power. Uh, you, might wanna have, you might have a hand loaded of trainers, you can't play them, so just shuffle them ball back in your deck. Uh, 2 Lysander, just to pick up stuff off a of bench. Uh, Giratina only hits for 100 damage, so you're going to be you know, pretty much two-shotting a lot of stuff. And for the stadium here, to help you get uh, get Vile Plume out, we've played four Broken Vine Space or four the Giant Plants. Uh, this, like I said, uh, with the AZ, really easy to pick it up, and you can just go Oddish. Bloom, Vile Plume, so you can get yourself back into the trainer lock going into your opponent's turns. That's really good. And right here, guys, we play four trainers now. This is just to grab your ball cards and your search cards and maybe a support or something like that, helping yourself getting set up. Uh, a lot of the times you're going to be grabbing Ultra Ball, Broken Vine Space, or you're going to be grabbing Level Ball. Uh, the reason that these trainers are in here are just pretty much just to fetch out your Shaman and your Vile Plume line just to get stuff out or whatever you might need in the matchup. So that's why we play those trainers there. And for the energy, the energy is something you can definitely tweak, you know, kind of work around with it. Uh, this is just what we have right now. We actually play a 4-3 right there. Uh, we kind of just threw some energy in here, honestly. Um, to be honest, you could probably maybe cut like two energy here, put in a couple mill tanks. That's probably what I would do. But uh, pretty much the major energy you're going to be looking at here is the double dragon energy and DCE just to get your chaos wheel going really fast. And the cool thing is, is with Vile Plume, your, your opponent can't just enhance hammer away your DCEs or your double dragon energies. And uh, honestly, the basic energy is really good too, just to go against Aegislash, uh, just to have a counter for that too. Uh, also, Shred could get through that too. But yeah, uh, it's a pretty cool deck. I feel like this is definitely going be a problem for the Pokemon TCG just because of how annoying and how much you know this shuts down stuff. So, uh, I really like this deck and uh, I would really like to know what you guys think of the list and if this is the first video you're seeing in mind make sure you hit that subscribe button thumbs up the video and I love you guys thank you so much for watching and this is Epic Pokemon TCG signing out.